this is Tom Lundquist with Bluebird Forge and today I'd like to show you something about how I forge a basic leaf. I have here a storyboard that explains the steps in forging. We go from a point and then we offset, flatten the leaf, add the veins, draw out the stem, and finally in this case I've looped it around so that it could be a keychain or a necklace or something like that. So let's get to it. I'll begin by drawing out a point as I did in my drawing out video. this point to be fairly short. The next step is to forge an offset in the end of the bar. So I'm going to hold it at the edge of the anvil and strike half on half off the anvil and do this on two adjacent sides. This leaves this shape that you can see right here where there's a little bit of an offset in it. The next step is to place the blank with the offset corners up on the diagonal and flatten it. begin to work down the transition between the stem and the blade of the leaf. And I do this at the corner of the anvil, right on the edge. At this point I should mention that sometimes the work gets a little bit off center or uneven. All you have to do to fix that is to turn it over and hammer on the other side. And you can see that it evens out. Now I'm going to work down the stem transition a little bit thinner. I've got plenty of heat. And on the end of the heat, I'm going to use this slightly curved chisel to make the veins in the leaf. And I can make sure that the leading edge of the chisel is still in the groove and I can make a groove as long as I want it to be. These veins can be either opposite each other or alternating. Leaves come both ways in nature. You can put as many or as few veins as you like. I usually put five opposite each other. But that's just the way I do it. There are probably millions of different plants in the world. And they will all have different 
vein patterns. At this point, I'm going to cut off the leaf. I'm going to take about an inch or so of the tapered portion that I have made. And I'm going to put it over the edge of the hardy and cut from all four sides in towards the middle. When it's almost but not quite all the way cut off, I'll take it in tongs and break it off the rest of the way. Now I can take this on the end and start to dry out the stem some more. to draw out the stem. I want it to be about two inches long if I'm going to make it into a key fob. Keep in mind that these leaves can be used for a lot of different things. But this is just a standalone leaf. I've got it drawn out about as long as I need it. So now I'm rounding it up, and I want to leave it just a little bit flat and spread out at the end of the stem here. This is also a good time that I can clean up all of those little facets from the hammer. The next step is to take the leaf to the edge of the anvil and bend the stem over at about a 45 degree angle. I can now use my scrolling tongs to bend it around in a loop. and just slightly overlap it. And you can see that now it looks a lot like a leaf except that it's too flat, so there's one more step. I like to sign my work with my touch mark, so I'm going to place it on the anvil, take my touch mark stamp, and hit it. And then while it's still hot, I will take the leaf to the Pritchell hole, which is the small round hole over here, and I'll use this ball peen hammer to give it a little bit of shape and texture. Finally, wire brushes. To get rid of all the scale that formed during the forging. And here's the finished product. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing.